Alright everyone, so today I'm going to be going over for loops in Python. First, before we start this, let's create a couple variables. So let's create a variable i and set it equal to 5. Next, let's say... Hmm, let's make a list called nums equal to an empty list of just square brackets and then we'll actually get into our for loop. So what we're going to do is say for um, i or for x in range of i, which this range function is new, but essentially what it does is just give us. Well, here I'll actually just show you. It returns all the values from <clears throat> zero to five or whatever number we give it. Um, and the default start is zero, but you can define that as well, and we'll probably go over that um, in more detail later. So we're going to say for x in range i colon enter four spaces or a tab space, usually tab spaces, and you want the tab spaces to be equivalent to four spaces. But once you choose one, you have to stay. Um, you have to stay. What is it called? It's an English word, I know that. Basically, you have to stay on the same, like, wavelength of thinking, and so you're going to have to stay with the same uh, method. So either you use four spaces, or you use one tab space that is equivalent to four spaces. You don't want to mix those, otherwise Python will give you an error. So, four x in range of i, one, two, three, four, or your tab space. Um, I haven't configured idle to do this correctly yet, but whatever. So 4x in range of i nums dot append x. Now what this does is go through that loop five times and append everything from zero up to four. Um, it doesn't do five because that's at the high end and it stops there um, once it reaches the uh, high end of your uh, list or iterable as it's called when you apply it to a for loop. Now the syntax for this as you see is the keyword for a variable in and then range. Now basically what this does is say for every time this variable that you just make, this variable is never mentioned anywhere else, for every time there's a variable or a value in this uh, list or iterable, which means it could be a tuple, it could be a list, it could be a, it could be a dictionary, anything that you can take index and values out of um, go would go here. And then you have your colon, which says that you're done with the for loop statement and you want to actually use the uh, commands or start sending commands to it in which you do an enter and then you uh, put your commands like this. And if you were to do another command you would just add that command down here so we could also say print x. And now it appends uh, x to nums and it also prints them out as it appends it or after it appends it. So we can say um, nums again and we'll get 0 through 4 twice um, since we ran the for loop twice. Uh, for loops are pretty simple, but you'll use them a lot. And as you can see, I mean, this is this becomes very useful. We were able to add four values to um, nums or five values to nums twice with just this simple command. And once we get into defining functions, you'll see how you can just call a function a couple times with a for loop in it, and you'll have all sorts of calculations done. Um, there's not really much else to it. Once we get into conditional statements and things like that, we'll also get it, we'll get a little bit more in depth and start doing some cooler stuff with these, but uh, for now, that's pretty much it. Uh, in the next video, video, we will go over while loops, which are similar to for loops, but a little bit different. They're, they're not too hard or anything. You, you'll understand them fine. Um, and yeah, so here's something else we can do. We can say for x in range of i, we can actually do nums.pop. We don't actually have to use the value that <clears throat> we specified up here. We don't have to use x. 
here let me move this up a little bit or a little bit so you guys can see it better um, you don't have to use this value right here or this variable because what this does is just say how many times you want it to repeat the loop so what happens is it says okay is there one value in this whole range or iterable it says yes and so it goes okay runs this command goes back up here says is there another value left inside of this uh, iterable mentioned yes does it again and does that until there's no more values that are in that uh, iterable so if you run this it'll go through five times and remove the last five uh, the last five numbers or values from our list nums um, one more thing I'll show you guys is that you can also have it kind of uh, print things out as well you can just say for x in range range of i colon enter uh, tab space nums or print x or actually we can have it say nums index x and now it'll print out all the contents of uh, nums from the uh, range of 0 to i. Awesome. And so they become more useful once you get into functions like I said earlier. Uh, you can use these to just basically shorten the amount of code you have to write and make things more dynamic. Um, as you see here, if any of these had uh, user input in them, then this would be completely new information that we wouldn't program ourselves and it would be something that the users actually give to us. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch future videos, please subscribe. If you like this video, press the like button. That always helps. Same with uh, sharing and favoriting. It's one of the best things you can do for my videos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.